changing dramatically overnight. We're here for Colonial Conference football. That's the West Defford Eagles off to a five and one start. And they're playing one of their arch rivals, Woodbury, they're four and two, both teams with hopes to make the NJSIAA playoffs, Woodbury in group one and West Defford in group two. West Defford uh, will be kicking off, Woodbury winning the toss. One of the best kickers in the area, Mike Ty does the placement work for West Stefford. Aaron Harvey, the deep man in the middle for the thundering herd of Woodbury. Revenge on Woodbury's mind, 62-0 victory for West Stefford over the thundering herd last year and one of the worst losses in Woodbury's storied football history, so they're not going to forget that. We're ready to go. A lot at stake today. Colonial Conference football underway. Good kick by Ty. Taken at the 10-yard line by Harvey. Harvey breaks through. One man to beat. He could go. Harvey at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown on an 86-yard touchdown run by Aaron Harvey. And no, Steve Christian, it's not going to be 62 to nothing. Well, that's for sure, Bob. What a great start for this thundering herd. You couldn't ask for anything more than that. Both teams come into this game with a lot of emotion. And it's Woodbury who gets on top very quickly. Let's correct the yardage on that. It was a 90-yard touchdown run. And Clyde Folsom, the West Effort coach, can't be too happy about that. This is SAT day, uh, Steve, and the teams arriving late, uh, West Effort coming late for the game today, didn't get here. They walked from West Effort High School a little over a mile away. Rob Moore from placement for Woodbury. He'll try to make it 7 nothing. And there's movement by Woodbury in the middle. The kick is blocked by... Brian Campbell of West Efford, but that'll be a dead ball foul and they'll kick it again. 90 yard touchdown run. Dead ball, early procedure, offense. Dave Wildermuth, the referee for today's game. Jim Boyd, the Woodbury coach. Thrilled with the way things have started in this one. Now it looks like they're gonna go for two, Steve. You don't see this too often, Bob. Usually the penalty needs to go in the other direction, half the distance to the goal to try to get it down, maybe one and a half yards out before you think offense. Now with the ball back on the nine, maybe feeling with the wind blowing the way it is into their kicker's face, they need to go for the two. Wilson fires it in the corner of the end zone, and it is picked off nicely by Kevin Whitmire, who defended the play well. Six-nothing Woodbury, just eight seconds into the game, and Steve, you've got to ask yourself how... Aaron Harvey traveled 90 yards in eight seconds. Well, he did a real nice job on the kickball. That's true. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty good speed, isn't it? <laughs> when, you, when you're right, you look up at that clock, only eight seconds going off. That's a, a lot of ground to cover, but he got there very quickly. Nice job of getting right up with the field, broke a couple blocks quickly. And you get through that, if you can get through that initial wedge, and then once you get through there, as we saw, breaking to the outside, getting down that sideline, and that's the one main advantage that this Woodbury team has coming into this ball game is I think their overall team speed, especially with Ross out of the ball game. They're very interested to see how they can react defensively. How they're able to be able to stop this fine West Stefford offense, and I think it's certainly a big lift for Woodbury to get on top early. So West Stefford stunned on the opening kickoff as Aaron Harvey goes 90 yards. Woodbury shut out by West Effort last year. They score eight seconds into the game this year. Lamar Sturdivant kicking off for Woodbury. Preston English in the middle for the Eagles. And the wind really knocking this one down. Oh, they better catch Woodbury. Woodbury's football, a mistake, a serious mistake by West Stepford on the kickoff as they did not field the ball and West Stepford, Woodbury gets the ball right back. Serious mistake. Well, Sturdivant kicking the ball straight up in the air. I don't think that was intentional. He just got under it a little bit and we said there is a very strong wind blowing, blowing in the face of Woodbury for this first quarter and it just hung the ball up there 
Kickoff return team for West Effort not even trying to make a play on the ball. It hits, it comes back toward the Woodbury team, and they're able to recover. Kenny Wilson running the offense for Woodbury, getting a big rush. Wilson fires it wide open at the 14. And good first down yardage. Travis Davis with the reception. Gets a first down at the 10-yard line, or excuse me, at the 15-yard line. And what a wild start in this football game, Steve. Nice job by Wilson, feeling the pressure on the inside. He was not going to have time to set himself up and throw. This is what Kenny Wilson brings to this team, that experience we talked about, a year under his belt as a sophomore, getting out of the pocket, getting to the right-hand side, and then still keeping his eyes downfield, able to find the receiver for the good first down yardage. Reagan Sturdivant, the backs behind Wilson. The pitch to Sturdivant. Gets a, actually lost about a yard in the play. Lost a yard back to the 16. It'll be second down and 11 for Woodbury. 10.45 to play first quarter. Woodbury already leading 6-0. And on the ensuing kickoff, got the ball right back when the ball was not fielded by West Effort. I mean, just to say, a very important defense to stand here for West Effort. Offense has not even gotten their hands on the ball yet. Do not want to find themselves down two touchdowns. Straight ahead, nothing doing. Good job, middle of the line by West Effort. No gain at all. Reagan with the carry. He did get about a yard to the 15. It'll be second down and 10. Third down and 10. Well, this is where West Effort is very strong. We mentioned in the opening, very strong up on the front of that defensive line. We'll see it when they get the ball on offense. They've really built this program around being strong up front. These guys work hard in all season. Very difficult team to run the ball against. Passing down for Kenny Wilson. Third down and 10. Ball just inside the 15-yard line. Two receivers to the near side. Wilson dropping. Fires it over the middle, and it's completed. And driven down at about the seven-yard line, a little bit short of the first down, is Aaron Harvey, who scored the touchdown on the uh, opening kickoff. So Woodbury is going to be just about uh, two yards short of a first down. Fourth down, and uh, actually call it about three for a first down. Got good one-on-one -on -one coverage with Harvey out on the cornerback on that right-hand side of the West Defford defense. Good isolation. Looking to get the ball to Harvey, allow him to use his speed to kind of get to the outside, but just not able to pick up the first down yardage. So a key early call in this game. Fourth down for Woodbury. The pitch to Sturdivant. Sturdivant into the end zone for the touchdown. Lamar Sturdivant on a fourth down and three scores from the seven. Woodbury shocking West Effort leading 12 nothing with 8.55 to play in the first quarter. Good call, Steve. Very nice call. We mentioned the fact Woodbury will use a wishbone offense, but they show it in so many different ways. That time with the single back, they spread the field, possibly trying to get West Effort to think pass. Sturdivant had lined up in the slot to the left hand slide. He comes in motion, and he's the pitch man. And Wilson sets it up very nicely, attacking the end, forcing the end to play him. Sturdivant with a lot of room to the right to run. Wilson fires it in the corner of the end zone. It's caught, and it's good for the two-point conversion to William Wilson, and Woodbury leads 14-0. On the Valley and Bow scoreboard, it is 14-0. Woodbury leading West Effort. We'll be back after this. Paulsboro Jewelers, truly a world-class jewelry store. Dozens of choices in hundreds of styles from jewelry makers all over the world. Paulsboro Jewelers, the most beautiful pieces from the best manufacturers in the industry. And value. At Paulsboro Jewelers, we think you deserve great prices without driving all over the state. Put it all together for more than 40 years and you have Paulsboro Jewelers. Truly a world-class jewelry store. Wrap it up with Romeo's Records. More than 20 years of great sounds. Romeo's Records on Delaware Street in Paulsboro. Romeo's Records for all types of music. Rap, jazz, pop, rock, and classical. And Romeo's can locate that hard-to-find number you've been looking for. Romeo's Records will help you find it even if you don't know the title. CDs, cassettes, and we still stock records with 25,000 singles in stock. Romeo's Records, 1313 Delaware Street in Paulsboro. Thank you. 
Well, a big early surprise in this game. Woodbury leading West Stefford 14 to nothing. And West Stefford has not yet touched the ball. Preston English, number 35 for West Stefford, the deep man. Then we'll see if West Stefford can correct its mistake uh, from the previous kickoff. Sturdivant kicking off for the Thundering Herd. 8.55 to play first period, 14-0 Woodbury leading West Effort. But this is an excellent West Effort football team. A long way to go in this one. Feel it at the 21-yard line. And the return by uh, Mike Ty. So West Effort will have its first possession of the football game. They'll start from their own 32-yard line. They were the real fine quarterbacks in the area, and Kevin Whitmire. But of course, West Effort still missing its uh, premier running back, Tony Ross, who, at the point he was injured, was uh, one of the leading scorers in South Jersey. Little running room for Preston English. He's a veteran uh, senior on this team. Pickup of three yards to the 35. It'll be second down and seven for the Eagles. Well, you don't want to underestimate the backfield that West Effort has this afternoon. Preston English replacing Tony Ross. A fine replacement, good speed, junior, good hard runner. It's hurt much of last year. Kind of play you love to have to be able to put in there to replace a fumble. Woodbury, we believe, has the football. And Woodbury takes advantage of another West Effort turnover. The fumble recovered by Dan Stagliano. Nothing going right for West Effort. Everything going right for Woodbury. It's amazing how much emotion can play in a football game. This is not what you would normally see from a very veteran West Effort football team. This cue between Whitmire and his fullback Brandon Marty. And after running one offensive play, Woodbury will again take over possession of the football. First and 10 distance side to 35 yard line. And Woodbury wants time out. A little confusion in uh, the Woodbury offense. Talked to Jim Boyd before the game. Uh, uh, Steve, and he was very confident that Woodbury could make a good showing today, and that's an understatement at this point in the football game. Talked about records early in the ball game, Bob, and of course West Effort coming in at 5-1. and one. Their only loss to Haddon Heights, and Woodbury coming off a big win last week over Haddon Heights. You look at comparative scores, I think he certainly had to feel confident that his team was up to the challenge. You talk about the fact that this was a young team last year, a lot of sophomores, Lost some tough games, got beat up a little bit, 62 nothing last year to this same West Effort team, but it's amazing what a difference a year can make. And certainly it's made a big difference here at Woodbury. Woodbury, kind of an underrated team, Steve. Uh, they really gave Paulsboro all they could handle in the first half. As a matter of fact, uh, held the elite at halftime over the Red Raiders of Paulsboro High School before succumbing to that uh, Red Raider onslaught in the second half. Wilson back to throw, good protection. Fires it over the middle, and it's caught. Great catch, great concentration. Down at the 15-yard line. And a catch by Deshane Green. That ball kind of floated up there. That was a ball that could have been intercepted, but a great play by Green. Well, things are going right for the thundering herd. Deshane Green split to the wide side, flashing up, trying to find that scene between the quarterback and the safety. Wilson reading it all the way, lays the ball in there. Green taking a hit as the ball got there. The ball popping up in the air. Keeps his concentration. Brings it in for the reception. 20-yard gain to the 15 first down and 10 Woodbury. Sturdivant in motion. Wilson keeps it going nowhere. Good interior play by the Eagles of West Effort. Brian Campbell with uh, part of the tackle. And uh, no gain on the play. Second down and 10. 7.05 to play in a surprising first quarter. Woodbury leading 14-0 and driving. And Gus Deppard has only run two plays. Reagan, the lone back, set behind Kenny Wilson on a second down and 10 from the 15. Sturdivant again in motion. The pitch to Sturdivant coming back. 
has a little room, keeping it to the outside, breaks one tackle, driving ahead. Good second effort by the sophomore, Lamar Sturdivant. And he is close to another first down for Woodbury. These are the kind of things you can do when you get a club that has a little bit of experience out there. Woodbury has shown a lot of formations. That time they show three wide receivers to the left-hand side. Sternavant was the motion man. It's not too often you get a motion man. He's going from left to right. Once he got behind the quarterback, he then stopped and came back to the left-hand side. He was the pitch man. As right now, we're going to get a measurement to see how close they are for the first down. They will have to bring the change the whole way across the field. 6.40 to play first period. All Woodbury so far. Good second effort run by sophomore Lamar Sturdivant. It's going to be a real good one for this Woodbury football team. That is close. Short by, there is a short, let's we'll take another look at it. We got third and inches! Third and inches, says David Wildermuth, the referee. Big game for both teams. West Stefford, of course, uh, wanting to get into playoffs for the first time ever, and they have to win this game. If they do not win this game, their playoff chances are out the window. But a win here and a win next week, and uh, they still have a shot in the uh, loaded Group 2 playoff picture. Of course, West Stefford still really in the hunt for the Colonial Conference. They still have that big match Thanksgiving weekend against Paulsburg. A chance maybe to knock Paulsboro off if they were to go in with only one loss in the conference and at least get a share of the Colonial Conference. And a, a lot of people felt that with a healthy Tony Ross that maybe, just maybe, this West Effort team has what it takes to match up with that fine Paulsboro Red Raider football team. Third and inches, Wilson keeps it, drives ahead, and looks like he has it. Kenny Wilson keeping the ball, smart call. That'll be a first and goal for Woodbury. The ball at uh, about the four and a half yard line. Woodbury really spreading the field with the receivers, Steve. I think this is the, the nice thing you have to like about this Woodbury offense is their balance. And they show you so many different things. They run, can run hard, tackle to tackle. They can get to the outside. Straight ahead to Reagan and uh, he gets down to about the two yard line. Anthony Reagan, he's a junior. A lot of a lot of great underclassmen on this Woodbury team. Uh, Kenny Wilson, a quarterback, is a junior. Sturdivant, a sophomore. Reagan, a junior. Uh, we talked about the fact that the last series was certainly a very critical series for West Effort, not to get down 14-0 early in the first period, but it's getting more critical now defensively that they come up big here. Almost under, well, under six minutes left in the first quarter. Do not want to find yourself down by 20 or more points this early in a ball game. Second down and goal. Wilson rolling right, fires it, wide open in the flat, and streaking into the end zone for the touchdown is Will Diggs, and it's 20 to nothing Woodbury. Is that Diggs? Will Diggs with the touchdown, Woodbury at the 533 mark of the first period, leading West Effort 20 to nothing, amazing. Well, that's a nice call from the sideline. They picked up something upstairs and they got single coverage out there. Just a little swing pass, kind of out into the flat, allowed Diggs to get his hands on the ball, used his great quickness, picked up a nice block on the corner, is able to get in there for the score. Now Rob Moore will try from placement. High snap, and they're not gonna get this one off, so the Placement try is aborted as Ty is in there quickly. However, Woodbury leading 20 to nothing and one of the most surprising starts to a high school football game that we've seen in a long, long time in Channel 5. The Valley and Bow scoreboard showing the numbers, 20 nothing Woodbury. What do you think of this start, Steve? Who would have thought 533 left in the quarter, 20 to nothing. West Effort has run two offensive plays. Woodbury has scored every time they've gotten their Hands on the football. Look very strong offensively. I think West Everett is, is absolutely stunned at this point. Well, there's no 
no doubt they had to feel stunned after the kickoff return. But this is a veteran ball club. I don't think there was any need to panic at that time. They know they're going to get their hands back on the football. They got the kind of offense that's going to be able to move the football effectively. But now you got to be a little bit concerned. I never think of West Stefford as being the kind of team that's going to really get the, the big game type breaker offensive plays. They want to grind it out. They want to use up some time. They use a ball control type offense, especially with Ross out of the game. Although they got good speed, it's going to be very difficult to get that long run against this Woodbury team, who is just as fast. Sturdivant getting a lot of kickoff practice here in the first period. Kicking into the wind. That's another interesting part of this. Woodbury is doing this into the wind. The wind knocked that ball down, and the ball is fumbled, picked up, and... Uh, the return to about the 30-yard line. West Effort will have only its second possession of the football game, and they're down by 20 points. It's just a bizarre game. I think right now, if you're West Effort on the sideline, it's not time to panic yet. They've really got to get their offense in sync. There's still a lot of time in this football game. They've got to put together a good offensive drive. Stay with your game plan. We're going to run the football. That's what we got to do. We've got to establish the run. We've got to take control of that line of scrimmage. Meyer with the keeper. And an outstanding open field tackle. There is a terrific tackle by David Wayman of Woodbury. Gain of only about a yard and a play second down and nine. Whitmire had some blockers, but the block was submarine by Wayman. Whitmire's a good all-around quarterback. Good throwing quarterback, a fine running quarterback, has deceiving speed. Whitmire very much a veteran himself, three-year starter. Remember a couple years ago seeing him as a sophomore here playing against the same Woodbury team, and you could just see that he had all the tools to be a fine high school quarterback. Another good job, another good tackle, this time by Will Diggs, who just scored the third Woodbury touchdown, and nice job of tackling in the open field by the Thundering Herd. Another one-yard pickup, third down and eight. This Woodbury defense is really up on the line, challenging West Effort, almost forcing West Effort to be thinking past. They want to take away the run. You know how well this West Effort Eagle team can move the football on the ground. Good play for West Effort. They need a first down. They need something to get their offense going. Whitmire rolling left, fires, and it's dropped. Ball was there, but the ball dropped by Nick Brandamarte, and uh, West Effort has to punt. Tough to tell who Whitmire was looking for. They had Brandamarte, the fullback, and you also had Ty, the tight end. Had to be about three yards from each other. you got to think on a play like that that maybe the fullback should be working himself down the line of scrimmage and kind of open up the field for your tight end who's going to get down for the yardage necessary for the first down. And there's no doubt in situations like that, you want to be looking for the fine tight end that you have in Mike Ty. Whitmire, the punter for West Effort, tournament deep at about his own 35-yard line for Whitmire. Whitmire punting with the wind. Gets a good punt off. Excellent punt. And this one will roll out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. So uh, something positive finally for West Effort is they punt Woodbury deep, and Woodbury now moving into the wind here in the first period. So if West Effort's defense can hold here, Steve, and force a Woodbury punt into the wind, uh, West Effort for the first time could emerge with good field position. You said it, Bob. That's about the only positive thing that's happened so far in this first quarter for West Effort. The defense hasn't been able to stop Woodbury yet. Their offense hasn't been able to get a first down. They've struggled with their special teams, the kickoff return team, with two mistakes, one allowing a touchdown run and also the onside kick. Green with the run, but he's going to... Hey, breaks the tackle. Green's still on his feet. That's a block. Green to the outside. Look at this, and he's finally pull, pulled down from behind a possible touchdown saving tackle by Brandon Marty. How did he get out of that? He had four white jerseys, I think, that had one or two hands on him. There was nowhere to go. First, I think it was an inside play, off tackle. He saw that there was nothing there. He breaks it outside. We said four Eagles there waiting, had a chance to take him down. He's able to get out of that, go clear across the field. I want to tell you, Brandon Marty, Brandon Marty doesn't get to him and get a hand on him. He's still running down that sideline. 18 yard first down pickup by Green. Ball at the 36 yard line. The option pitch. Green gets to the outside. 
And knocked out of bounds after another big game. Well, I tell you, you talk about momentum, Steve. This, uh, this is a uh, momentum to the nth degree at this point in this football game. Missouri has it all. Wilson does a real nice job at that quarterback position, setting this up. When you're going to run the wishbone, you've got to sell the fullback dive, and that's what he does so well. You never know in the wishbone whether or not they're allowing the quarterback to really read that. If he's looking at the defensive tackle to see if the fullback dive is there, but he puts that ball right in the fullback's stomach, rides him into the inside of the line, he gets the defense to bite on it, then he pulls the ball out, he comes down the line, and there's no one there to defend the, defend the pitch, and they pick up great yardage. That 20, first and 10 at the 45. Diggs with the car, and a nice job, excellent open field tackle by Preston English. English coming up very quickly from that cornerback position. Woodbury not doing a good job. You look for your wide receivers when you run the wishbone. Receivers have got to get down, and they got to keep a block on the cornerbacks. The cornerbacks are the ones who are responsible for the pitch man. If you can take the quarterback out of the play, once that pitch is made, there's a lot of room to that outside. And when you got the kind of speed that Woodbury has, it's the one thing you want to utilize. And I think you've seen right away that Woodbury feels the one area that they can take advantage of is the speed that they have to the corners. Second and 10, ball at the 45. Wilson. Chased out of the pocket. Dumps it wide open. Start of it. They're still chasing Sturdivant. Whitmire can't get him. Sturdivant still on his feet. Sturdivant down the sideline. He will walks into the end zone for the touchdown. I can't believe this. 45-yard touchdown pass. Wilson to Sturdivant. And it's 26-0 Woodbury with 2.17 to play in the first half. Clyde Folsom can't believe what he's seen. There are two plays right there that can be highlighted for them, but we have, a, we have flags down. I would not be surprised if the flags are for the unsportsmanlike conduct. Sturdivant kind of high-stepping it into the end zone. I don't know if this will nullify the TD or not. We have a dead ball, unsportsmanlike, on the blue, 15 yards on the try. But the touchdown is good. That's what a time. play by Sturdivant. Real nice job again when you look at Wilson, the quarterback, feeling the pressure, doesn't have the time to set himself up. And as he breaks from the pocket, Sturdivant was not open initially. And when Wilson came to the corner, the cornerback responsible for defending Sturdivant had to come up and make a play on Wilson. Wilson recognizes that, dumps the ball to Sturdivant, and then he did the rest. Very impressive, breaks a few tackles, gets himself on the other side of the field. This has been some performance by this Woodbury Thundering Herd offense. What is going through Clyde Folsom's mind right now, Steve? I'll tell you, as a coach, you start to say to yourself, when it goes bad, it goes bad. And right now, everything is going Woodbury's way. And it's very frustrating as a coach because you really feel helpless. There's not a whole lot you can do. A lot of it has the, is really the feelings of your players at this time. And they certainly have to be very frustrated with themselves. And it's really starting to put West effort into a position where, again, they may have to get out of their game plan. Although it's still early in the first quarter, they have to look for Clyde Folsom to maybe open things up offensively. But on the other side, there you see a very... Be Jim Boyd in his... You think he's surprised? <laughs> very surprised. <laughs> wow. So Woodbury is going to uh, have a 17-yard extra point try after the 15-yard penalty. <laughs> penalty marker is down. Sturdivant. Hit once, still on his feet. Driving. And I believe this penalty will go against Woodbury and the extra point try will be no good. Illegal motion, offense, refuse, points no good. So with 2.17 to play in the first quarter, Woodbury leading West Effort 26-0. And they're doing all of this into the wind. It's been a remarkable quarter, one of the most remarkable I've ever seen, considering what an outstanding football team West Effort has. 
and Woodbury has done it in every way you possibly can. We saw it on the opening kickoff. Their defense has been very strong. Offensively, they've done it with the pass. They've done it with the run to the outside. And you said this is a fine West Effort team that they're up against here. West Effort team, you mentioned walking over from their school, just about a mile down the road. They came in here very high with a lot of emotion. They knew the ramifications of today's game here. Having recovered from their earlier loss to Haddon Heights, certainly had to be a, a very devastating loss for this West Effort team. It's something that they've now gotten over. They knew what they had to do coming to today's ball game, but so did Woodbury. Travis Davis kicking off now for Woodbury. Pretty good kick. Picked up at the 15-yard line. And a nice return by Brana Marte. West Effort begins this possession from its own 40-yard line. 90-yard kickoff return by Aaron Harvey. Sturdivant with a seven-yard run for the second score. Will Diggs, three-yard pass from Wilson for the third score. And Sturdivant gets his second PD on a 45-yard pass from Wilson. So Wilson with two touchdown passes in the first quarter. <laughs> Trying to figure out which football is West Tefferts right now. Both teams, each team brings their own football and they exchange on offensive possessions. I have to go over, they ought to ask their quarterback, he ought to know which which football it is. Jim Boyd wants to know where the ball boy is. <laughs> this is a, a, a strange football game, Steve. Is there a full moon tonight? <laughs> well, it's a great day for football. The sun is shining. It's that crisp feeling in the air. Yeah, they found a football. He's a very happy Jim Boyd. Program hitting some low spots in the last couple years, and Paul Burroughs in his column in the Courier Post talked about the fact that at the Group 1 level you have your ups and you have your downs. Woodbury was certainly up for years there in the late 80s and early 90s, but last four or five years the program has not been quite where it'd like it to be, but it can't get any better than it is here this afternoon. Straight ahead, good second effort by Brana Marte. Penalty marker. Usually a face mask. Would help West Effort's cause. And that's exactly what it is. And we'll get West Effort into Woodbury territory for the first time. Six yard game by Brand Tamarty with Brand Marty with uh, the face mask penalty tacked on 15 yarder, and I don't give a uh, West Effort, real good field position at the Woodbury 38-yard line. Face mask, defense, 15 yards, first down. Good opportunity here, uh, Steve, for West Effort to get back in this football game. Boy, they do need it. Of course, if you're Woodbury, the one thing you don't want to do is give up the easy yardage. Make West Effort use as much time as they can now that you got that four-touchdown lead. English picking his way, gets some pretty good yardage. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage, but gets it over the 35 to the 33-yard line. Gain of about uh, almost five yards. It'll be second down and five for the Eagles. Late stages first quarter. It's been a long first quarter. Minute 15 with the clock running. Foot behind Whitmire. Hand off straight ahead, Brandon Martin. Short of the first down, tripped up. Good interior play by the Woodbury defense here in the first quarter, too. Gain to the 31 yard line. Third down and three. Bruce Waller bringing the play in for the Eagles. Up your West Effort, you're probably in two-down territory. They got to keep that ball on offense. English picking his way and uh, does not appear to have it. He'll be about a yard short. He advanced to the 29-yard line. Fourth down and about a yard. This is a huge play, but uh, 
That could have been the final play of the first quarter. Eight seconds, seven seconds to go in the first. And they won't get to play off. One amazing quarter completed in the Colonial Conference at Woodbury High School on the Valley and board, Bow Scoreboard. Woodbury 26, West Effort nothing. We'll be back after this. If you think the words basic and transportation don't belong in the same sentence, then come to Valley and Bow. At Valley and Bow, you'll find pre-owned cars that are reliable and fun to drive. That's because we offer only the best pre-owned cars. Cars with that something extra. Cars that have been getting the Valley and Bow treatment as they wait for you to arrive and choose your favorite. Valley and Bow has the reputation for offering the finest pre-owned cars around. Let someone else offer basic transportation. People in the know, go to Valley and Bow, 663 Macho Avenue, Woodbury. Since 1943, people have come to Paulsboro Supply for all of their plumbing, heating, and electrical needs. They offer friendly, knowledgeable advice and personalized service not found in the larger chains and home centers. Paulsboro Supply handles a complete line of fixtures and equipment, including pipes, valves, and fittings in copper, iron, and plastic. If you use water conditioner salt, look no further than Paulsboro Supply. We deliver free. Paulsboro Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies, 1218 North Delaware Street, Paulsboro. Bob Shryak along with Steve Christman from Woodbury High School. Big fourth down and one play for West Deford. They trail Woodbury 26-0. Huge play for the Eagles. Straight ahead and good tackle by Sturdivant, but uh, I believe, I don't know, they may measure this one. The carry by Brandon Marte, close to the first down. They're gonna bring the chains in. Boy, this is a this is a big measurement. Now uh, West Gufford goes to their strength. They go to their tight end side, Mike Ty. They, front, they run behind their big left tackle, Kevin Pickering, 6'2", 240. No guess. Wow. Woodbury's ball. Wow. Good job by the Woodbury defense. Everything going right so far for Woodbury. That is a big play by the Woodbury defense. They are coming up big on both sides of the football. West Stefford's strength is their ability to run, and that is something that they have not been able to do here this afternoon. First and 10, Woodbury from their own 29-yard line. Showing all kind of offensive sets. Third of it to the outside, and a nice tackle. Excellent tackle by Preston English. Sort of an injury. A couple flags on the play. One came in real late. The sophomore, Lamar Sturdivant, has been a key player in this game, to say the least. Two touchdowns. Seven-yard run, 45-yard pass from Kenny Wilson. And he is down injured. Clip against Woodbury, and that will move something. Will move them back. He said that flag came in real late. But needless to say, only 15 yards against Woodbury. Of course, right now everybody's keeping their eyes on Sturdivant. Not checking out anything in the lower body. That's the first thing I would always look for as a coach. They're not looking at ankles, knees. Maybe they're taking a shot to the head, just kind of dazed a little bit. Good opportunity for West Effort defensively right now. They backed up to the 15-yard line. First time all day, Woodbury has had bad field position. Dave will remove the referee. Sturdivant's still down. It'll be first down and about 24 for Woodbury. But the concern now is for fine sophomore Lamar Sturdivant. And he's on his feet. Appears to be okay. Okay. 
So, tough spot on the field for Kenny Wilson to operate. Reagan and Green, the backs behind Wilson. Two receivers to the far side. Wilson loves to throw the ball, got a great arm. Wilson straight back to throw. Wilson breaks free. It makes a nice game before being hauled down by Bart Bransky of the Eagles. Nice game by Wilson to the 24. Sturdivant being worked on on the sidelines. You talk about the fact that Wilson has a real nice arm. And the one thing he's able to do, because he has that good strong arm, is spread the field. You saw him telling his receivers to get a little bit further to the left-hand side, the two receivers to the left. He was looking to the right-hand side, trying to spread out that defense, see if he can get one-on-one -on -one coverage. It wasn't there, and he makes the best out of a good play, picking about 10 yards on the play. Second down, 14 for the Pendling Herd. 10.35 to play in the half. Wilson guns it, and almost picked off. Boy, that could have been six the other way. It appeared Brand Marte had an opportunity to pick that one off. Incompleted pass, third down, 14. Well defended by the West Efford secondary. Wilson looking to pick up about half of the 14 yards that he needs for the first down, which I always think is a good move. Play just not there. Cornerbacks reacting very quickly. As you mentioned Brandon Marty having a little shot at it. That's maybe the one thing that this West effort needs. They need a big play to kind of lift their spirits a little bit. It'd be great for the defense maybe to pick one off, just pick up a fumble, give them give the offense good field position. Wilson gets a big rush and high gets him, but a penalty marker down. Big play by one of the fine veterans in this West Effort team, Mike Ty, sacking Wilson. However, there is a penalty. And if it's against Woodbury, West Effort certainly will decline and force the punt. Very early flag there from the official. The official who sits right behind the defensive line throws a flag early, pointing at one of the defensive players. It's tough to see if maybe there's another flag that came in on the play. Ty doing a really nice job out of that defensive end position. We talked about how fine of a football player he has been. Another three-year starter. Nice job out of the tight end position. Nice job out of that defensive end position. Reads pass, comes real strong from the outside. Doesn't allow Wilson even the opportunity to set himself up. Jim Boyd looking on stoically. I think you're right either way, Bob. Looks like Wood Woodbury's going to be punting out of their own end. Boy, this is a long discussion on this penalty. I only see the one flag. I have one official over here at about the 20-yard line. That's where the holding call was. Unless there is another flag or... <laughs> Just trying to talk things over, but... I don't think there's much to talk about here. It's a holding penalty. You decline it, and you make it fourth down, and that's forcing the punt to football. Yeah, let's hear what they got to say. Face mask against wow. West Effort. Wow. Is that big. And as I said, that came from the official who was sitting right behind the defensive front. So someone in that defensive line in terms of uh, trying to get around the offense. Face mask. Defense. 15 from the end of the run. Still third down. Wow. That was the decision. Where does the 15 get marked off from? From the spot of the infraction which was up closer to the 20, or from the end of the play. And this face mask was not on Wilson. It was on one of the linemen. Very strange interpretation. Third down and 12. So Wilson with another shot to keep the ball alive for Woodbury. The option. And Woodbury's going to be forced to punt for the first time. Good job of covering that time by West Stafford. So Woodbury will have to punt first time today. I had a real safe play by Woodbury that time. 
Had some tough times running in the short side on the option, which they did that time. Not electing to put the ball up in the air. Let's punt it out of our own end. Let's not give up real good field position, West Effort. Let's make them work for everything that they can on offense. Travis Davis gets the punt off. Whitmire waiting for the true bounce. Picks it up at the 27. Oh, what a terrific tackle. Outstanding tackle by Deshane Green. That is specialty team's coverage at its best. Woodmire had some room too, Steve. He had some room, and you talk about things that are going well for Woodbury. Not the prettiest punt in the world, but it travels over 40 yards. Whitmire doing a nice job of not allowing it to roll any further, picking it up. Good open field tackle, not to allow Whitmire to get any more yards. And they set West Effort back at its own 27-yard line. 9-10 to play, first period, 20 or second period, 26-0 Woodbury. <laughs> Straight ahead, a couple of yards for Nick Brandamarty. He's a junior. Advance to about the 30-yard line. It'll be second down West Effort and about eight. A lot of people talk in West Effort about how far this program has come, but a lot of people feel this was a key year for them. They've had constant improvement year after year. A lot of people thought maybe the last year would be the year they broke through. We had the big game with West Stafford and Paulsboro on that Thanksgiving Day weekend. English going nowhere. Terrific interior play by Woodbury. Dan Stagliano among the tacklers. And a third down coming up in about nine for West Effort. West Effort just can't get his offense in gear. There's no question they miss Tony Ross. Oh, they certainly do. And he was one of the keys we talked as I was talking about them coming into the season. At their skill position, they had some real fine seniors with great experience. Whitmire quarterback tie it in. Ross at the tailback position. A couple of linemen up front. But this year, the loss to Haddon Heights and now this today has not been a great one for them. Screen pass. And uh, they're not going to get the first down. The screen set up well to English, but Woodbury read it well, and they will force apparently a West Effort punt. They'll be about uh, a yard, a little more than a yard short of the first down. Well, big decision here by West Effort. Yeah, they could go for it. West Effort wants a timeout to talk about it because uh, this is an opportunity for Folsom to gamble a little bit here, Steve. It would be a gamble because if they don't make it, Woodbury would have a first uh, and 10 at the 37-yard line or thereabouts already with the big lead. Yeah, that makes the decision very difficult. It looks like the offense is still on the field. Certainly doesn't want to go in at halftime down 26 nothing. Not able to put any points on the board. Seven minutes left in the ball game. He's got to feel that this might be the best opportunity they're going to have. This is an offense that needs time to move the football. You can see they like to move the ball on the ground. Got a couple players going off. It looks like they are going to go for it. But they do need some time. They want to keep the ball on the ground. They want to control the line of scrimmage. I said before, it's going to be very difficult for them to get the big play against Woodbury. Woodbury's got good speed in the secondary. They come up real hard. Although English has the breakaway speed, they got it. Folsom has the feel that they got to get the five to six to seven yards at a pop to get the ball in there for the score. So fourth down and one, it appears West Efford will try for the first down. Bit of a gamble, but a good one by Clyde Folsom. Well, it's pretty much the same thing they had on their last series, and they were not able to pick up the first. Ty going to the right-hand side. Usually a team that likes to run toward their tight end. See if they go in that direction. Straight ahead, and I don't know. Wow. I don't know. Big not hit. Not even close. Not even close. I don't even know if they gained an inch. Oh, what a tremendous defensive play by Woodbury inside, and it appears that... The thundering herd is held. Are they going to measure this? Doesn't look like it's close, does it? it? Sure doesn't. Referee went over to the sideline. I guess they're going to make absolutely sure. But there was a wall of Woodbury defenders there. Not even wow. close is right. Woodbury taking over on the 30, uh, 38-yard line. Audie leading 26 nothing. A great opportunity here to add points. Hard to tell individually who the players were, but that left-hand side of the defensive 
for Woodbury. Great job of penetration. All the linebackers are up there on the line, looking for run all the way. As we said, teams normally like to run to that tight end side. Good read by the Woodbury defense to fill those gaps. First and 10 ball at the West Cup from 38 yard line. Straight ahead, not much doing. Reagan with the carry for Woodbury, but he was met by several West Efford tacklers on the left side. Ty right there, as he always seems to be. Also help on the play by Mike Shields. I'll tell you, Bob, as a coach, even though you know that play may not be successful, even though you may not feel that you have what it takes against this defensive front to run that fullback dive, you've got to run it every now and then to keep the defense honest. It's that play which will set up the outside running game Woodbury likes to use. Option left, and terrific defensive play by number 72, Kevin Pickering. Throwing Wilson for a loss back to the 38-yard line. Now that West Effort defense uh, starting to play very well. They're getting good penetration. They're reacting a lot better on the corner. That time Wilson on the option plays it real smart. Feeling the pressure from behind, not making the pitch. That's what a veteran quarterback will do. Knows when the right opportunities are there to pitch the ball. Rather would take the loss than maybe pitch the ball and create the turnover. Third and 11, Wilson. Straight back to throw. Fires it wide open. Oh, my. That was six. Dropped by Will Bigger. That could have been six more of the pass right there. Yes, the inside man on the twin receiver formation just streaking right up the middle of the field. And defensively, you don't want to allow that to happen. you got to have somebody deep there to make a play on the ball. Wilson putting the ball right on Diggs' fingertips. That would have been a backbreaker for West Effort. Boyd's choice here to punt West Effort deep. Davis to punt to Whitmire. Gets it off. And Whitmire will let it go into the end zone. Good decision by Kevin. And it'll come out to the 20 yard line where West Effort will have a first down and 10. We'll take time out from uh, Woodbury High School on the Valley and Bow scoreboard. Woodbury 26, West Effort nothing. Paulsboro Jewelers, truly a world-class jewelry store. Dozens of choices in hundreds of styles from jewelry makers all over the world. Paulsboro Jewelers, the most beautiful pieces from the best manufacturers in the industry. And value. At Paulsboro Jewelers, we think you deserve great prices without driving all over the state. Put it all together for more than 40 years and you have Paulsboro Jewelers, truly a world-class jewelry store. Welcome to West Debford Township, 18 square miles of residential neighborhoods, lush green acres, and thriving industry. West Debford is located just 10 miles from Philadelphia and borders the Delaware River. The local government consists of a mayor and township committee. Town meetings are held on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. in the municipal building located on Crown Point Road and Grove Road in Thoroughfare. West Deptford boasts one of South Jersey's finest school systems. West Deptford High School is home of the Fighting Eagles. Recreation thrives in West Deptford Township. Union Field Baseball Stadium located off Grove Road is the site of the annual Little League Eastern Regional Tournament. West Stepford Public Library, the pride of the town, is a modern resource center. The South Jersey Environmental Information Center is located here. Today, West Stepford Township is over 20,000 residents strong and continues to grow and prosper. Good things do come in small packages. Campbell Barber Real Estate is a small realtor that's big on individual service, integrity, and complete client satisfaction. Steve Drummond, broker owner and chairman of the Board of Realtors Professional Standards Committee, makes sure his clients feel as secure and important as a member of the family. My father told me about Campbell Barber Real Estate. I bought my house through them, and now I'm selling for Campbell Barber Real Estate. Put your trust in the name you can trust, Campbell Barber Real Estate. Short gainer by Muldoon, the ball loose, and Woodbury recovers. Third turn turnover of the first half against West Effort, and Woodbury capitalizes again. 
and recovers the football at the 25-yard line of West Effort, and nothing going right today for West Effort, Steve. Simple fullback dive into the line. Not a huge hold there. Contact made, Muldoon not able to hold on to the football, and boy, you're absolutely right. It has been a bad day for the Eagles. Do not want to give up another touchdown here. Plenty of time for Woodbury, 5.25 to play in the half. I look for a quick strike by the Thundering Hurst. Wilson wraps and right. Green has some room. Another good tackle by Preston English. English has played well for West Stepford today, despite the uh, one-sided score. He's made a lot of good tackles. They advance to the 20, pick up of five, second down and five. English did a real nice job of, of fighting through the block. Again, it's the wide receivers. You're going to run the option. They've got to be able to hold their blocks on the corners. Allow the pitch man to come up behind and get read off of that block, but English fights through and is able to make the tackle. Wilson. On the ball! Read well, and uh, another good defensive play inside by Kevin Pickering. <laughs> Not all of this the uh, fall of the West Effort defense, Steve. Well, they've been on the field for a long time today. Offense has not been able to give them the breaks that they need. They've defended the option fairly well. Wilson getting down the line that time, and although it may, you may ask the question, why you cut the ball field when there's really nothing there, he can see that there is a defensive man out there on the pitch man. And once he can see that, he knows that the opportunity is not there. I'm going to hold the ball, take the loss as opposed to pitch it there. Wilson, the ball dropped by William Wilson. Mike Collins there to defend for uh, the Eagles of West Effort. He read the play well, so that'll make it a fourth down and five. That's a wide receiver screen. You had your right tackle, Mike Garcia, and your right guard, Kevin Drews, who released immediately. Had Wilson been able to hold on to that ball, they would have been out in front to block on that particular play. So Woodbury taking a time out to talk about this fourth down and five. They'd like, obviously, to get another one before halftime. You can't have too many points against uh, a fine football team like West Effort. All the scoring in the first quarter uh, triggered by the 90-yard touchdown run by Aaron Harvey on the opening kickoff. Two touchdowns by Sturdivant, one by Diggs following, and that's where we stand at 26 to nothing. The Woodbury fans enjoying this one, and uh, well, they should. Woodbury trying to move to five and two in the season, and uh, a win today, Steve, and a victory over Collingswood next week by Woodbury would pretty much assure Woodbury a spot in the NJSIAA playoffs for the first time since '91. Of course, they dominated the playoffs in the late '80s. I'll Clyde tell you, Folsom is uh, trying to. Uh, Get his team recharged back in this football game. That's big call coming up here, Steve. Certainly is. Big call for certainly Woodbury defensively. Best effort. They're going to stay in this ball game. Have got to come up here. Wilson pump fakes, fires it, and uh, defended well by West Effort. The pass incompleted, and the ball will turn over to Eagles. So give the West Effort defense some credit on these last two series. They've had a lot of pressure on them and they've held the score at 26. Well, Wilson had enough time. You saw the little pump fake. Receiver doing a little out and up pattern, as we know it. But Waller, the cornerback on that side, read it very well. He would stay with the receiver the whole way, and then Whitmire from that safety position came over and was able to knock the ball out. Another opportunity for West Effort to get one before halftime. 3.57 to go. You got a base, Jerry? That'd make a big difference if they could get a score before the half. Replayed uh, by Wilson, but what a great defensive play by Aaron Harvey. He read it all the way. Penalty marker. Now again, things going bad. Somebody's in motion probably that was not supposed to be in motion. I don't know if they were going to try to make an adjustment offensively and get the tight end from one side to the other. Again, a late flag coming from the, the way to referee. Well, you know, it was a loss the play. Yeah, they'll probably take the play because uh, there was a loss in the play, I believe. 
Whitmire seen that things had broken down offensively, did the right thing, and just ate the ball there. You hear the Woodbury sideline saying, don't give up the big play. It's one thing they've been able to do very effectively defensively. These officials really have some long conferences, don't they? I think right now, Bob, I've got to ask the question, was there something illegal by the offense? It had a man in motion, but as long as he's going side to side, there's not a problem. Illegal procedure, offense. Now they feel that too many men were in motion. Normally, illegal procedure has somebody moving before the snap of the ball. You are allowed to move, as we said, side to side or backwards, but tied the tight end that time going from left to right. Now, of course, the decision for Woodbury is to accept the penalty or not. As you said, probably very smartly should refuse it. Illegal the procedure, offense, refuse, take the result of play, second down. I don't understand why that took so long for all that to happen. I still think the question, Bob, was was there illegal procedure on the play? And they got everybody together, and I guess they felt that there was, but you're right. We've had some discussions here this afternoon from this referee crew. Of course, Roy Woodbury right now has got to be thinking, hey, we can stop him here. Let's use a couple timeouts. Let's get the ball back. The way things are going. Good play by Harvey go. Lawson, too. Second down and 12. They run the draw. And a good job by uh, Preston English breaking a couple of tackles before he's found and covered. So it'll be third down for the Eagles. Three minutes to play. First half, 26 nothing Woodbury. Well, here's the play. If you can stop them here, you want to stop the clock. Force them to punt. Third down and six. We've seen so far in this first half, Woodbury has been able to move the ball effectively in the air. A couple big plays passing. One where they just missed on. And the ball dropped. It was set up nicely, too, for Preston English, but uh, it's another mistake by the Eagles as they're going to be forced to punt. Well, it's been that kind of an afternoon. You set things up well. You get the screen out there. Muldoon just not able to hold on to the ball, and that really hurts because it also stops the clock. Not only do you not pick up the first down, Woodbury will be able to save that timeout. Hopefully get a good return here. Whitmire punting to Green. Green back at about his 41-yard line. And it's not going to go far into that win. Poison! 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 <laughs> so Woodbury will have good field position uh, at about the 47-yard line. There's plenty of time. 2-11 to play. one of those uh, punch at the wind knocked down, Steve, that the Woodbury player is going down feel weren't aware of where it was. It could have hit one of them. And you heard the coaches on the sideline, the poison. Poison means stay away from it. Don't get near it. Another chance for Woodbury to add another score. Cooks left. Wilson fires it. Completed. But... Harvey's knee apparently was down after about a one-yard gain. Now Harvey went down on that one knee to make the catch, and of course, once he caught the ball, as you indicated, he was down. That'll keep the clock running, and Woodbury in their two-minute offense. Second and nine, the ball at about the 45-yard line. Wilson fires it wide open, but uh, just over the outstretched fingers of William Wilson. It'll be third down tonight. So the Woodbury offense has bogged down a little bit these last three series, Steve. They certainly have. Not able to move the ball as they were in that first quarter when everything was going right. This West Effort defense has made a few adjustments. They've reacted a little bit better to the option game. Third down and nine. Ball at the 45. Minute 34 to play in the half. 
First down at about the 33 yard line. Good job by Davis. Davis doing a nice job of coming back to the ball. Wilson buys himself some time being flushed out of the pocket. They were looking for Diggs streaking up the sidelines. He was not open. Wilson didn't have the time to throw, but a good adjustment on the play. Clock restarted, minute 20 to go. Wilson fires it. And the ball is dropped by Diggs, second down and 10 for Woodbury. And that doesn't hurt him because that does stop the clock. That was the play that Diggs was able to score on earlier in the ball game. A little swing pass. Try to give him some room to operate. The ball at the 32-yard line, second down and 10 minutes, 16 to go. And I really like the way this Woodbury offense spreads the field. Their team, again, that likes to run out of the wishbone, but they have people all over the place. They put a lot of pressure on you defensively. Wilson fires it, completed. Good job by Green, picking his way close to a first down to about the 24-yard line. Clock running, close to a minute. Now they didn't pick up the first down, so the clock is still running. A lot of time going off as Wilson's trying to get his troops together here. Third down, they got to be thinking about picking up the first. Third and three. Wilson fires it, and it's completed. Good catch by William Wilson for the first down. 37 seconds to go in the half. And the first down advance to the 13-yard line. Real nice catch by Wilson there. Ball was thrown high. But he's able to get up there, get his hands on the ball, and bring it in for that first down completion. Got Harvey out to the left-hand side. They'd like to work into that wide side of the field. Wilson firing. Completed. Harvey knocked out of bounds uh, by Waller. Clock running 18-17. The ball at the five-yard line. 11 seconds. Spiked by Wilson with seven seconds to go. So we'll have time for perhaps two more plays. I, tell you, I haven't seen too many high school teams run a two-minute drill any better than what we've seen here from Woodbury. Wilson has been very much in control of what's going on out there. You watch how he looks both ways. He makes sure he's got his players right where he wants them. He's calling the plays that he wants to run. They've done all this without using a timeout, assuming that they do not have any timeouts to use right now. Ball at the five-yard line. Third down and one, but more importantly, uh, third down and five for a touchdown. And there's a dead ball foul. Yeah, probably moving from Woodbury. That won't hurt him. That'll push him back a little bit. It'll give maybe a little bit more room to operate. That time they had brought Harvey to the right-hand side. Snap infraction. Offense. A snap infraction. So it'll be third down and 10 for a touchdown. The ball at the 10-yard line. But they also lost a second. And it's now six seconds to go in the half. And this could be the final play of the half. Wilson will try to throw it into the end zone. Boy, what a big play for West Decker. They cannot afford to give up another score. Third down, Wilson to throw. Fires it in the corner of the end zone. And, oh, almost caught. Defended well by English. It looked like Wilson may haul it in, and that'll be the final play they have. Good job by the West Decker defense. Three consecutive series of West Effort defense holds. However, big first half for Woodbury on the Valley and Bowe scoreboard. At halftime, Woodbury 26, West Effort nothing. No matter what GM car or truck you own, you want it running well for years to come. So, come to Valley and Bowe. For over 30 years, our service department has been specializing in quality repairs, taking a personal interest in each car we service. We're winners of the prestigious Dewar Cup for service excellence. Valley and Bow has convenient Saturday hours and courtesy transportation. People in the know bring their GM cars and trucks to Valley and Bow for great service. 
663 Mantua Avenue, Woodbury. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars for a sticker to get new car quality. Not at Executive Auto Sales, the new car alternative at Evergreen and Barber Avenues in Woodbury. Dozens of family sedans, sports cars, luxury models, even trucks are fully serviced. Most vehicles are still covered by the manufacturer's warranty. All vehicles are like new at not hundreds, but thousands less than the cost of new. Experience the new car alternative at Executive Auto Sales, Evergreen and Barber Avenues in Woodbury. Second half Colonial Conference football from Woodbury High. Steve Crispin along with Bob Schrack. All first half along to Woodbury. All 26 points in the first quarter. They lead the favorite Eagles by a score of 26 to nothing. Travis Davis kicking off for Woodbury to start the second half. Preston English, the deep man for West Deptford. Along the ground, ball is loose. And West Deptford covers, they will have the first possession of the second half. Steve, what does West Deptford have to do now to get back in this football game? I think right now this is a very important series for them offensively. I think right now they got to put together the kind of drive that they certainly expected that they would be able to do coming into this ball game. Ball control. They've got to start to dominate the line of scrimmage. We saw it a little bit on the defensive side throughout the course of the second quarter. We have not seen it on the offensive side yet here today. Got to get off the ball, and right now they are forced to take a timeout here to start the second half. And wow. Again, things not going well here for West Deptford. Not enough players on the field to start this second half. A programming uh, switch for Channel 5 next weekend uh, on the Scholastic uh, football beat. We are going to be in Glassboro for the Pensgrove glassboro game. Those uh, Glassboro Bulldogs, one of the great surprises of 1995. Everybody figured they have a pretty good season, but they are undefeated heading into action this weekend. The Steve Crispin alma mater. How about them Bulldogs, Steve? They have been a surprise. This is a young ball club. Uh, kind of caught a lot of people off guard beating Gloucester early in the season. Undefeated right now, and they have some incredible team speed. We're looking forward to see that team and match up against a good ball club in Pensgrove who's also having a good season. Good gainer in the first carry for West Effort in the second half as Brandon Marti gets the ball up to the 40-yard line. It'll be second down and about four, about three for the Eagles. And West Effort desperately needing a score to get back in this football game. And that's exactly what they want to be able to do. Let's get off the line. Let's use our strength up front. Let's get running north to south. Ah, nice job of submarining that play by, by Aaron Harvey. Being of only about a yard on the play to the 40. The third down and three. Harvey out of that defensive end position, closing down very quickly. Saw the handoff, got down there. A little stop the runner with no gain. Big third down play for West Deffer. Wow, do not want to come out here knowing that you need to move the ball and have to punt in the first series. Third down and three. Whitmire will keep the ball, and he'll have the first down and a lot more. Good call, excellent call. And Whitmire with a big run into Woodbury territory at the 43-yard line. Steve, that was a good call. Very good call. The defense, the offensive coaching staff knows how this Woodbury defense likes to react to the run. And that time, faking the sweep to the left-hand side, Whitmire on the bootleg. And as we said earlier, he's a fine running quarterback. Good speed once he gets to the corner. I think that was a run all the way. Picked up certainly the yards for the first down. Good yards. And Got the ball into Woodbury territory. First and 10 ball at the Woodbury 43. Whitmire, straight back to throw. Fires it completed, short game. Jamar Williams with the catch. The advance to the 40 yard line. It'll be second down and seven for the Eagles. We were talking about what West Effort needs to do offensively. I think another thing they need to do is kind of loosen things up. This Woodbury defense is really up on that line of scrimmage, trying to look to shut down that run. Maybe look to pass the ball a little bit more. We've said before they got a great tight end and tie. Come on, y'all, come on! Got to 
loosen up this defense. Lee with the carry. Really stripped of the ball and a uh, big defensive play by Anthony Reagan. Number 40, Anthony Reagan. Well, Reagan didn't make the tackle, but he got a hand in there. And did he get a hand in there? Slowing up the runner just enough to allow that defensive pursuit to come across. Third down, seven ball right at the 40 yard line. Nine minutes, 35 seconds to play in the third quarter. And Harvey stretching his neck a little bit. Hey, Meyer, penalty marker. Meyer hit as he throws, and that might have caused uh, the pass to come up a little bit short. Hit by David Wayman. But there's a penalty down. And against West Effort, Woodbury probably will refuse that. Bring up a fourth down in seven. Refuse it. Refuse it. Refuse it, Manny. Now. And Woodbury defensive front got great pressure on Whitmire. We're going to get the call here. Yeah, watch the fake punt. They got nothing to lose. Line up and play defense. Build a motion. Offense. Decline. Fourth down. Fourth down and seven. As the penalty is declined. I saw about that pressure that Woodbury got on Whitmire there. Only rushing four players. They're sending seven players back into pass coverage. 77 McKinney, 72 Collins, 70 Turris, three of the four people up front doing a real nice job of getting there on Whitmire. Some talking going on between the teams in the middle and uh, being admonished by the official. Appreciating crew today, David Wolden, the referee, Ed Jefferson, the umpire, Red Soul, the linesman. I'll turn to the line judge, James Gavin, the back judge. Gene Prowitz on the clock. Fake, Whitmire will run the football. And struggling, I don't know, he's close. He's probably going to have just enough to get that first. I don't know that Whitmire was thinking run before the ball got to him, but with the high snap, Feeling the pressure from the outside, that ball would have probably certainly have been blocked had he tried to kick it. They are not even going to measure, and they do have the first. Well, that's a great play by Whitmire. It's nice when you have an athlete like Whitmire back there doing your punting. You can do so many things. We see, we know he can run the ball. You know he can throw the ball. And that time, with the athletic ability he has, first of all, to get his hands on the ball, not allow it to get over his head, but then to pick up the yardage necessary for the first. First and ten ball at the 32-yard line of Woodbury. Straight ahead. Big goal for Brandon Marte, and he is close to another first down at about the 21-yard line. Quick hitter. Brandon Marty found the hole and makes good yardage for the first down to the 21. A little trap blocking on the inside. 66, Brian Campbell, the left guard. You got Collins over center. Brown a tackle. Roberts on our program at right guard. Nice job on the inside. A quick hitter is nice. It gets your player into that line of scrimmage very quickly before this defense can react. West Everett's really had a tough time with their sweep plays. They take so long to develop, and these cornerbacks for Woodbury are so quick they get to, to the ball carrier. Whitmire with the keeper, cutting it back inside, and struggling for some decent yardage to about the 17. Well, this is what we had expected from West Effort offensively. We said they are not the kind of team that strikes real quick. They're going to pound it, they're going to pound it, they're going to pound it. They try to wear you down. And of course, the one thing that they don't have going in their favor is time, and that's why I really felt this first drive was so important. I think they need to build their confidence a little bit. And one way of doing that is get that early score with a nice offensive drive. Second down and seven, the ball at the 17. Whitmire with the alley-oop pass, and it's knocked away. Nice defensive effort. By Travis.
Travis Davis of Woodbury. And I'll bring up a third down and seven as Davis uh, played that ball beautifully. Whitmire took a, just a little too long getting rid of that ball. Follow the wide receiver on that side. Had the defensive quarterback right on his head. Getting by the cornerback, there's that little seam between the quarterback and the safety. And the ball just hung up there. The wind's blowing in Whitmire's face. Very strong from left to right. Allowed the defense enough time to react. Straight ahead. Good job by Brandon Marte. And it's another first down. So a nice job by West Stepford's offense on this series. They need desperately to get this ball into the end zone. Another first down takes the ball to the 10-yard line. It will be a first down and goal. They've used up a lot of time here, going on about five minutes. They've had this ball here in the third period. It's a lot of valuable time, and that's why it's so important that they come away with some points here. English. English diving. Is he in? No, he's down at about the one yard line. Great job by one of the good veterans on this team, Preston English. He is down at about the one yard line. That's what they expect from Preston English. He's the replacement for Tony Rawls. Has good speed. That's really the first time that we've seen West Defford able to get to the corner using that sweep. English able to get there, then get himself upfield. Just coming up short. Still time for West Effort, but they got a score here. Back split behind Whitmire. Randomarte in English. Whitmire keeping it and pushing ahead into the end zone for the touchdown. So the veteran Kevin Whitmire finally gets West Effort on the scoreboard with 6-10 to play in the third quarter. And the Eagles trying to rally from behind, now trailing 26-6. Well, that was an important drive. There's no doubt about it. And West Stepford did exactly what they had to do. A couple big plays in the drive, a couple big third down plays. And, of course, the, the big play is on fourth down, where I think West Stepford really would have been punting the football. Whitmire on the play, able to pick up the first bit down and keep this drive alive, and one in which they're eventually able to score. Mike Ty, one of the better kickers in the area. And he... Knocks it through cleanly for the seventh point. 26 to seven, Woodbury leading with 6-10 to play in the third quarter. So the uh, Eagles will find football team obviously regrouping at halftime, Steve, and it shows on that drive. Certainly regrouped and over on the West Effort sideline, the fans are trying to, to rally their team here. It could be a big emotional lift on the other side of Woodbury. You know, one of the things we saw at halftime, Jim Boyd grabbed his troops before they got off the field and had a little talk with them and tell them, we're not going to celebrate at halftime. He's got to be a little bit concerned right now. Something they did against Fallsburg early in the season, and Fallsburg came back and won big, but he wanted his guys not to go in at halftime and think that this game was over. There's a lot of football yet to be played, and West Effort has done exactly what they wanted to do here at the beginning of this second half. Good sign for Woodbury. Lamont Sturdivant back in the game. He had two first half touchdowns, then was injured in the second period, but uh, obviously okay. Back to receive the Mike Ty kickoff. It'll be very interesting to see what kind of adjustments West Effort has made defensively. They started to come around a little bit in that second period. Finally able to shut down this Woodbury offense. He was only scoring at will throughout that first quarter. I thought that was a real key, Steve, them holding uh, on those last three series. of Short kick and an opportunity for West Effort. I don't know if that was a deliberate onside kick or not, but does West Effort come up with it? And they do. West Effort football. How about that? I think that must have been an intentional onside kick. And the recovery made by Bart Bransky getting West Effort the ball back at about midfield. And that is big. You know, it'll be, it would be very interesting to find out whether or not he intentionally did that or not, but you don't find Mike Ty hitting the ball that low too often. It just seemed like he hit the ball so hard, but hitting it hard and able to bounce off the Woodbury player. The one downside of that is if you don't come up with it, you're giving up great field position. Now we have a situation almost for West Effort, almost identical to Woodbury in that first period. 
English. English breaking the tackle. English has a chance to go. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown. How about this? West Deptford right back in it. English with a 50-yard touchdown run. It's 26 to 13. What a strange football game. You call this deja vu, Bob? All over again. You're talking about Woodbury scores two touchdowns in the first period before West Deptford even ran an offensive play. And now exactly the same thing is happening for West Deptford. They have scored twice now here in the third period. Woodbury has not even got their hands on the ball yet to run an offensive play. In the first period, Woodbury got their second score off of an onside kick, which is exactly what West Stafford has been able to capitalize on. Tie again from Placement. Good snap, good hold, strong kick. It's good. 5.39 to play, third quarter. Don't go away. Woodbury 26, West Stafford 14. We'll be right back. Wrap it up with Romeo's Records. More than 20 years of great sounds. Romeo's Records on Delaware Street in Paulsboro. Romeo's Records for all types of music. Rap, jazz, pop, rock, and classical. And Romeo's can locate that hard-to-find number you've been looking for. Romeo's Records will help you find it even if you don't know the title. CDs, cassettes, and we still stock records with 25,000 singles in stock. Romeo's Records, 1313 Delaware Street in Paulsboro. Since 1943, people have come to Paulsboro Supply for all of their plumbing, heating, and electrical needs. They offer friendly, knowledgeable advice and personalized service not found in the larger chains and home centers. Paulsboro Supply handles a complete line of fixtures and equipment, including pipes, valves, and fittings in copper, iron, and plastic. If you use water conditioner salt, look no further than Paulsboro Supply. We deliver free. Paulsboro Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies, 1218 North Delaware Street, Paulsboro. Steve Crispin and Bob Shryock at Woodbury, a very strange high school football game, but a good one. Woodbury leading 26 to 14, but in the second major momentum switch of the game, West Efford now on a roll. They scored all 14 points here in the third quarter. They're right back in it at 26-14. Ty kicking off again. His apparent onsider set up that second score, the 50-yard TD by English. Let's see if he tries it again. Another bouncer. And Woodbury better cover this one, and they will. Now Woodbury has to regroup offensively. I tell you about that kick there kind of indicates to me that the first one was not an onside kick. He hit the ball so hard, I really feel that they do not want to kick the ball deep to these Woodbury return men. And when you look at that, you have to think that, boy, that's a break that goes in Woodbury's favor. It hits one of the front linemen. You had a, uh, sorry, in West Deptford's favor, and you had a play there in that first drive of the third period, as we mentioned, the fourth down play, which I don't think was a fake punt, but turns out to be a big West Deptford first down. Things are going right now for the Eagles. Ball at the 34-yard line. Wilson with the option pitch. Green getting the corner. Finally chased out of bounds. Penalty marker. Pretty good gain by Green on the play, but there is a penalty. And this will go against Woodbury. Flag coming from a long way away. As you probably heard there, it's going to be a clip on Woodbury. That's going to send him back 15 yards. The Woodbury coaching staff not happy about that. The play was defended very well by Wes Stepford. Could have had a loss there in the backfield, but Green with the speed was able to turn the corner. Two different football games, Steve. Well, it is such a game of momentum. It's such a game of emotion. These are the kind of things that can happen. We have a clip on the offense. 15 from the end of the run. Still first down. First down and 20 for Woodbury. The ball at the 25-yard line. 5-09 to play in the third. Lots of time. This effort tries to overcome a 26-point deficit. Straight ahead, couple of yards, not much doing. Reagan with the carry. Interior of the West Effort defense doing the job and uh, Pickering in on another tackle. He's had a good defensive ball game for the Eagles. 
You talk about the turnaround in the two different ball games, and this is exactly what I think Jim Boyd and his coaching staff were afraid of. They knew there was a lot of time left to play. They knew they were up against a very, very fine football team in West Effort, a team that was going to come out and give it its best in the second half. Lots of running room for Wilson, but a nice defensive play. Brian Campbell with a big play, or Wilson uh, would have had a lot more yardage. And that'll make it third down and ten. And boy, Woodbury really needs to keep this football to recapture some of that offensive momentum. Third and ten ball at the 35. Whitmire fires it, completed, but he won't get the first down. And Woodbury's going to have to punt again. A nice play defensively. West Effort giving up the short stuff. The ball gets out to Harvey, and they're trying to allow Harvey the opportunity to use his speed and his quickness. The West Effort cornerbacks, they got some help on the inside, just did not give him the room that he needed. And were able to stop him well short of that first down, and as you said, will force Woodbury to punt. And West Effort will get their hands right back on this football. Ball at the 41 yard line. Davis to punt to Whitmire. Whitmire back at about his own 30. A yeah, little change. Watch the fake. Whoops. What are they doing here? Trying to draw West Efford? Uh, Woodbury had sent up for the punt. Now they're back in their offensive formation. Trying to draw West Efford offsides. Davis gets off, great punt by Davis. Whitmire, and he's 18, and a nice open field tackle by Deshane Green. Green with a big play. There's been some great Woodbury tackles on special teams today. And Whitmire had a little bit of room to that right-hand side. Green getting down there very quickly, able to trip Whitmire up. So West Effort starting from its own 22-yard line, first down and 10. 3.35 to play third quarter. And West Effort uh, battling back from a 26-0 first quarter lead. Not much doing here. Brandon Marty with the carry. The advance to about the 25-yard line. Pick up of uh, just about two on the play. Second down and eight. It is cold at Woodbury High School this afternoon. English, who just scored on a long run and almost breaks another one. Close to a first down. Saving tackle made by Davis. Really does a nice job as he takes that hand off of getting behind his blockers and cutting off of his blockers. There you had the sweep. You got your guards that are pointing out in front. They're trying to kick people out to allow English the opportunity to run up on the inside. Ball at the 33. Another first down for West Effort. Brandon Martin. Not much doing. Woodbury defense is stayed strong up front. This is normally, you can see there, two minutes, 12 and counting, 26-14 lead by Woodbury. This is really normally where the Woodbury, uh, the West Effort offense really starts to wear you down. Later in the ball game, they start to get the momentum on their side. They get stronger and stronger. But so far, this Woodbury team has really stood to the challenge. Second and nine ball at the 36-yard line. English. English. A couple yards short of another first down. The carry to the 42-yard line. He'll be about two yards shy. West Effort has done an effective job today, Steve, of uh, keeping uh, William Rothmiller uh, from making as 
his normal number of tackles for Woodbury. Tremendous linebacker, captain of the defense. He is a great player, and uh, I haven't called his name often today, simply because Wes Stefford's done a good job keeping him out of the fray. Get the, get it! What, Meyer? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Whitmire with the keeper, but uh, appears to be about a yard short of a first down. A little bit of a strange call when they've done so well with their sweeps and their fullbacks up the middle. It's going to be close. Big decision. There's no punting team coming out here for West Stafford. Well, they want to keep that momentum. I think they're going to go for it, Steve. And I think they have a lot of confidence in their defense, too. I think Clyde Folsom knows it. We're going to win this ball game. We've got to score some more tough points. There's no doubt about that. And yet I have the confidence that if we turn the ball over here, we can stop Woodbury offensively. Big call. Ball at the 44-yard line. Fourth down and one. Whitmire with the keeper. Pushes ahead and has the first down. Behind that big offensive line. Big call by Folsom, and uh, the Eagles continue their momentum. The advance to the 45, first down and 10, West Stafford with 40 seconds to play in the third quarter. seconds to go. Could be the final play of the third quarter. Whitmire has some room. Breaks one tackle and gets another first down. Down to about the 42-yard line on what should be the final play of the quarter. Now, Whitmire's a fine running quarterback, and what he does so well is once he gets to that outside, he cuts the ball back up inside, and that's what enables him to pick up the good yardage. Two seconds, one to go in the third quarter. That'll do it on the Valley and Bowe scoreboard after three exciting quarters from Woodbury High School. Woodbury 26, but the rallying West Effort Eagles 14. We'll be back. Stop daydreaming about your new Cadillac. It's here now at Valley and Bow. Whether you see yourself in the new Sedan DeVille or the exciting El Dorado, maybe the stylish Seville is the Cadillac of your dreams. Right now, Valley and Bow can make that dream a reality. You can drive home your new car in as little as 24 hours, but only if you visit Valley and Bow. People in the know go to Valley and Bow, 663 Mantua Avenue, Woodbury. Why can't people just leave me alone? Everybody's always telling me you can't party when you're pregnant. Not even a beer. They tell me about birth defects and low birth weight. People come right out and say, if you drink any kind of alcohol, your baby could be mentally retarded. I don't ask for advice. They just give it on their own. What? Do they think I'm stupid? Steve Christman and Bob Schreier from Woodbury High School, an exciting Colonial Conference football game. All Woodbury in the first quarter, building a 26-0 lead in the first seven minutes, but uh, West Effort's defense acquitting itself well in the second quarter, and West Effort taking control of the game here in the third. They trail it now 26-14, heading into the last 12 minutes. First and 10, West Effort, 42-yard line of Woodbury. Buenavante, one man to beat, and saving tackle made by Reagan. But everything going right for West Effort now as it did for Woodbury in the first half. Nice little inside trap by West Effort. Brandon Marty coming behind the offensive line. They get a good kick out block on the left hand side. He picks up the yards for the first down. And you know, Bobby talked about two different ball games. Our stats show that in the first half, Woodbury, 196 yards of total offense to 39 for West Effort. And now in the second half, we don't have any numbers, but West Effort certainly has got to be well over 70 to 80 yards in total offense. And Woodbury still hasn't gotten the first down. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. Straight ahead to Brandon Martin, only about a yard. Ball at about the 
about the uh, 26 yard line. Second down and eight for West Efford. Just underway fourth quarter. And West Efford, or Woodbury now, seemingly just trying to hang on. And now's when they like to run that sweep. They've set things up at the inside running game. They like to try to now come to the outside. Here they come. English cutting it back inside, breaks one tackle. Tackled at about the 19 yard line by Reagan. He'll be a yard or two short of another first down. Well, you've got to give West Jefferson a lot of credit, uh, Steve, for keeping its cool, battling back in this football game when it looked like they were going to get absolutely blown out of here. Well, they have. They've reacted very well. They've made the adjustments that they needed to. And this is a veteran club. They've been there before. And they have to have a lot of confidence in themselves. They know things didn't go well the first half. We saw, we saw Wilson warming up on the sideline, and he's just trying to keep warm right now. A lot of action in the first half. Third down and two. Going to Marty. Not sure if he has it. Might be short. It looks like he's going to be a little short. It's going to bring up another big fourth down play. And again, a good surge by the left-hand side of that defensive front from Woodbury. Big play. Fourth down and one. Ball at the 18-yard line of Woodbury. 9.50. The clock becoming a big factor in this football game. Fourth down in the yard. Oh my, dead ball foul. Is it against Woodbury? And a low count got him. Dead ball. Encroachment. Wow. First half in reverse, uh, Steve. Everything going right for West Efford, long for Woodbury right now. And that probably came from Kevin Whitmire, the veteran quarterback. He knows fourth down, less than five, tells his players in the huddle, wait for the long count. Let's see if he can draw them all sides. That's exactly what he was able to do. First and ten ball at the 14-yard line. It. Complete to tie at about the six yard line. Ty's first catch of the game. And a pickup of uh, eight big yards. It'll be second down and two. A nice looking play. That had run written all over it. Guards pulling, leading with my out to the left hand side. And he pulls up and throws. And he drills one in there to tie. And on the opposite side, he had Lamont Lee wide open in the end zone. But still, goes with the safety throw. A little fine tie, good yardage. English may have the first down. I kind of like the way that English likes to run up on the inside. He's not afraid of cutting the ball back up and in. He was able to do there. Yet we've seen he has the speed when he gets to the outside. He can easily break one. Spot at the four yard line. First down. First and goal, West Deptford. Ball at the four yard line. Plenty of time for the Eagles. But again, they have to score in this possession. English and Brandon Marty have done yeoman work running behind Whitmire today. They are split behind the veteran quarterback. Brandon Marty inside, only about a yard. It's taking a lot of time. We're under eight minutes right now. This is the way in which West Stefford likes to operate, but it's going to put a lot of pressure on their defense. They're going to have to come up big. Second and goal, ball at about the two-yard line. English, cutting it 
back inside and in for the touchdown. Preston English with his second touchdown of the second half and it's a 26-20 football game. Oh my. Well, well, the momentum has changed in this game. And no doubt about it. It's been all West effort. We just said 7.23 left here in the ball game. They're totally dominating the first half. They've now come out. They scored three touchdowns. Woodbury has had one three and out series. West Effort has scored every time they've had the ball. Ty trying to make it 26-21. Uh, He's blind drives. It threw for the 21st point. 7.23 to play. Woodbury 26. West effort 21. See, one of the strangest games I think I've ever seen in terms of momentum change. There's no doubt about it. We said, I don't think you could look at it with the stats that we talked about. Woodbury with the yardage differential 196 to 39 in the first half. And right now, West Effort with 191 total yards here in this half. And as we said, Woodbury does not even have a first down yet. It was incredible. You looked at that first series, and it looked like Woodbury was just going to run away with this game. They could do nothing wrong. Of course, that's what football is all about. You know, going back to that last extra point, I don't know if we're going to get a chance to see it, but and now Woodbury lining up on the wrong side of the field. You can't see it here in your picture, but for the return. Ty really got hit on that extra point attempt. I was really surprised they didn't have a roughing the kicker. They made no contact with the ball. I don't even know if Ty will be able to come out and be able to kick off here. He certainly would be a very big loss for them, especially on the defensive side of the ball where they really need him right now. But as we said, a lot of the pressure right now is going to fall on the West Stefford defense. They cannot afford to allow Woodbury to put together a drive where they're able to use up some time force West Effort to use up their timeouts. They need to hold them three plays, get their hand back on the ball because West Effort, again, is the kind of team that needs time to put points on the board. So Ty, who does the kickoff work uh, for West Effort, normally out of the game now because of the play that uh, Steve was talking about. Mike Pfeiffer kicking off for the Eagles. Short kick, and it's fielded in a very intelligent play by Wesley Swanson of Woodbury as he collects the ball and just dives on it, giving Woodbury excellent field position. See what Woodbury needs now, obviously, is a couple of first downs. They certainly do, and this really helps in the field position. Very important. West Effort, the last three times that they picked the ball, have not kicked the ball deep. They've kicked the ball short. And that time there, it's, it's certainly going to work against them, although they didn't have Ty in there to kick the ball deep for them. Because now Woodbury with a good field position, even when they turn the ball over, West Stepford's going to have a long way to go to be able to get that score. Another mistake by Woodbury is a movement on the right side. This will cost the thundering herd five yards. And Woodbury just can't do anything right, just like West Stepford in the first half. What an odd game. Got a dead ball. False start. Offense. Still first down. Dave Wolvermuth making the call. First down and 15 ball at the 34 yard line. And Woodbury just hasn't had the ball here in the second half, just like West Effort didn't in the first quarter. The pitch to Green. Hammered out of bounds. Whitmire with a big hit. Help over there from Brian Campbell, who's made some big plays for the Eagles today. Good play to knock him out of bounds. They want to do stop the clock every opportunity they can. They give up the four or five yards, but they'll still bring up second down at about 11. Ty is back in the ball game, the left defensive end position. It's a good sign for West Effort right now. 6.53 to play, the clock stopped. Wilson. And he'll be tackled. Good defensive play by Sean Brown of the Eagles. And that'll bring up a third down. And uh, Woodbury in danger of having to give up the ball again. Looked like Wilson was going to have enough room to run, breaking out of the pocket. Right now, West Effort with that second down and long, only rushing 
three down linemen and tied the defensive end, four players. They had seven players back in pass coverage. Wilson goes back, not able to find anybody open. Third down and 11. West Stefford will look for the pass. They run the reverse with Harvey. And Harvey tries to dive for the first down. Don't think he has it. And this will be close. Going to be really Good. close. It's going to look like he's going to just be short of the first down. That's a real nice call. They bring everybody in tight, except for Harvey, who was split to the left-hand side, a full, full house backfield. And then they got good blocks on the right-hand side. Now, they're going to call timeout here because uh, the Woodbury coaching staff is going to take another look at this one, Steve. They have fourth down and uh, a little bit less than a yard. Uh, obviously, they would love to keep possession of the football, but they're in a spot in the field where a gamble misfired is going to cost them big. We'll take timeout from Woodbury. 26-21, Thundering Herd. Get in shape with Fit and Firm at Gold's Gym, Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m., only on Channel 5. Paulsboro Jewelers. Truly a world-class jewelry store. Dozens of choices in hundreds of styles from jewelry makers all over the world. Paulsboro Jewelers, the most beautiful pieces from the best manufacturers in the industry. And value. At Paulsboro Jewelers, we think you deserve great prices without driving all over the state. Put it all together for more than 40 years and you have Paulsboro Jewelers. Truly a world-class jewelry store. Fascinating Colonial Conference football game at Woodbury. Jim Boyd in the huddle. They're deciding whether to go for the first down with fourth and less than a yard. The biggest call of the game right here. This is the play that everyone's going to look back on, whether it goes one way or the other. They get a first down, it's a great call. If they don't get a first down, a lot of people are going to question this one. Because if they punt the ball, they certainly could get it down probably close to inside the 30-yard line. How about this? West effort to go a long way. Fourth and less than a yard ball at the 48-yard line. Play of the game right here. The option pitch, and he'll get the first down. Oh, what a big call and a big run by DeShane Green. A big, big run and kind of a gamble play on a fourth and short, Steve, but they made it work. Very much a gamble. They know they're having a tough time on the inside controlling that defensive front of West Effort. And I'll tell you, that's a coach who has a lot of confidence in his quarterback in running the option. They're not only running the option, you're running to the left-hand side, which forces him to pitch with his left hand. And the pitch is always a gamble. They run it to perfection, and they pick up a big, big first down. Ball at the 47-yard line of West Effort. First down and 10. Woodbury's first first down in the second half. Straight ahead. Reagan with the carry to the 45-yard line. It'll be second down and nine. Five minutes, 20 seconds. The clock running. West Efford needs the football back. I tell you, that may be the most important thing. Every first down is worth two minutes off the clock. And certainly, Jim Boyd, that's something that's got to be running through his mind right now. And that's two minutes less time that the West Efford offense, should they get their hands back on the ball, do not have. Option right. The pitch to Sturdivant. Sturdivant is tackled. Nice tackle. Whitmire with a big play. And it'll be third down for the Thundering Herd. The ball at the 41-yard line. Defensively, that's the player you really depend on, your free safety, to come up and make those plays on the pitch. As we said, the cornerback's going to have a tough time. Many times he's going to be blocked by the tight end or the wide receiver. Your safety has three line right to the back. Whitmire getting in there and able to take down Sturdivant. Third down and five. Ball at the 41-yard line. Option left. 
Green. Kicks to Green. Green. Breaking tackles. Green down the sideline. And goes out of bounds. Chased out of bounds by Waller. But importantly, he gets the first down in Woodbury with another new set, a new series of four downs. We had said that Woodbury would try to exploit the corners of West Effort to try to utilize their speed, and that's exactly what they have done in this series to their advantage. Again, Green on the corner could have been taken down with no gain, but able to break a couple tackles and pick up the first down. Ball at the 25-yard line, first down and 10, straight ahead to Reagan, only about a yard to the 24-yard line, and that clock continues to run. West Effort needing the football back. Remember, they burned one timeout early in the third quarter, and that could loom large, Steve. Very large. That was the first offensive play. They didn't have enough players on the field right at the opening of the second half. Last play by Woodbury. Good, safe play. A dive on the inside, control the ball, and it keeps the clock running. Second and nine ball at the 24. Wilson with the pitch. Whoa, he was down. The Wilson's knee was down, so the play, uh, call the play dead at the 25-yard line, and that'll lose a couple of yards. Clock should be running right now. It stopped for a second. Now it's running, but a little bit of dangerous play by Wilson, something you normally you don't see from, from Ken. He's the kind of quarterback, as he said, he knows what's got to be done here. you got to control the ball. Let's play it very safe. The most important thing is ball possession and keep that clock running. 3-18, 3-17. Third down and 10, ball at the 25-yard line. The option pitch to Sturdivant. Sturdivant tripped up, penalty marker down. Clock stops, 3-0-3 to play. An interesting call right here. Here you can see we're going to get a hold against Woodbury. Mm. Now, do you take the penalty, which will move them back, but it will give them one more down, and one more down is worth about 30 seconds off of that clock. Very important decision here. They refuse the penalty. It'll bring up fourth down. And about five. Tony Ross standing next to Clyde Folsom, the West Effort coach. Ross, uh, one of the real fine football players in South Jersey. Number 26, still unable to play, but he'll be back in another game or two. Illegal use of the hands, offense, 10 yards for the end of the run, third down. I think they had to do that to make sure that uh, fourth and five was awfully close, so they're going to push him back and make them take this third down play from the 31 yard line. It'll be third down and 17 but now the clock running again. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, it makes it third down and long but it's two plays and it's going to be another minute off the clock. Best effort with only two first downs. The option pitch, nothing doing here as Diggs is corralled. Got to use a timeout right here. And that's, that is the call. Yes. So with 2.31 to go, West Efford with one timeout to go. Woodbury with a fourth down and long, about uh, 17 yards. Yes, ask you this, Bob. Do you think Tony Ross was pleading his case for one play? I bet he is. I bet one he's been, series? I bet he's been asking for some all day to get in there. Dying over there. And Jim Boyd loved the first half, but... Uh, Different story here in the second half. What are you going to call in this play? Uh, you know, it's really interesting, I'll tell you. Depending on the kind of confidence you have, it's not a bad move sometimes. You, you tell your quarterback, let's drop back. You throw it up toward the end, toward the goal line. Maybe allow him to intercept the ball, and you just try to take him down on the interception. Uh, punting the ball is very difficult. Heads up play by the defense would be, able, would be to knock the ball down. Of course, Jim Boyd's also got to be concerned with if I put the ball in the air and it's knocked down, that stops the clock, which I do not want to do. Now, of course, there will be the stoppage of the clock on the change of possession. So. Ball at the 32-yard line, fourth down and 17 for Woodbury. Wilson's going to throw. Fires it and incompleted. And that'll turn it over to West Everett at the 32-yard line. 
They have time, 227. They have one first down, or one timeout, and they trail Woodbury by five points. And this has turned out to be one exciting high school football game. Both teams hopeful of making the group playoffs. One thing that West Effort has right now is they do have the wind behind their back. If there's any breeze that's blowing, it's well, kind of difficult to tell right now as I look up to the, to the flags, but looks like it's going across the field. Haven't thrown the ball a lot. West Effort has primarily been able to score using the running game, but a long way to go with only two and a half minutes left. Good night. Inside reverse, nothing there, the ball pops loose. The ball is loose. And Woodbury has it. Woodbury has the ball. Rothmiller. William Rothmiller with the apparent fumble recovery, and that could do it for Woodbury. How about that? Well, that's a tough break for the Eagles. Have played a great ball game here in the second half, electing to stay with a very safe running play on the inside, trying to keep this Woodbury defense honest. Didn't have a lot of time. Clyde Folsom trying to encourage his defense and troops. They got to be thinking turnover now. They have one timeout that they can use. And of course, Woodbury's going to think, let's control the ball. Turnovers have been a big story of this football game. Another one there could have done in West Effort. Biggs with the carry and uh, not much doing, but they just want to hang on to the football now. West Effort can only stop the clock one time. And they do it. West Effort has burned his last timeout with one minute, 37 seconds to go. So all Woodbury has to do now, Steve, is, uh, is run out the clock. As we said, real tough break for the Eagles. But Woodbury did exactly what they had to do when they took over possession after that third score from West Effort. They got a couple of real big first downs, and certainly you have to credit Jim Boyd with a, a real tough coaching call to go for it on fourth down. You're at about a midfield. You don't get it. You're going to give the ball back to West Effort in great field position with a lot of time left on the clock. I think he felt that the one shot that they had was to take some time off, keep control of that ball. He has the confidence, the confidence in this young team and they came through when they had to, and although they didn't get the score, more importantly, they were able to keep control of that ball and not give West Depp a good field position, and they took a lot of valuable time off that clock. Second down and nine, good boy coming off the field, just telling his team, hang on to the football. West Depp cannot stop the clock. This hangs on a smart play. Gets a yard or two. That's not relevant. What's relevant is that they keep possession and keep the clock moving. Minute 25. Of course, we need to keep in mind the ramifications this game. It keeps Woodbury in the hunt for the Group 1 playoff spot. A loss by West Effort will almost ensure that they will not qualify for the Group 2 playoffs. And also pretty much knocked them out of running for the Colonial Conference Championship. Straight ahead to Reagan. Under a minute. And Woodbury appears now that they're going to hang on and win this one after uh, dominating the first quarter and as a result the first half but then watching West Stepford battle back gamely here in the second half. Clock running, 35 seconds to go. Fourth down. Green battling and looks like he has the first down and that will do it. He has the first down so West Upper will not get the ball back. That'll close it out. Great run by Green. And they restart the clock. They don't even have to run this play. Woodbury's going to win the football game. Ten seconds to go. They won't even have to run this play. 
Five seconds. Bit of an upset. Woodbury defeating West Efford. Real good high school football game. That'll do it. Final score. Woodbury 26 and West Efford 21. Steve Pushman, seen a lot of high school football games, but uh, as I indicated before, you see very few games where you see one team dominate one half as much as Woodbury did in the first half and another team, West Effort, dominating as much in the second half. Absolutely, and they, they dominated in every way you possibly can. Both teams, and for West Effort, it was yardage-wise in the first half. Of course, on the scoreboard going in, 26 to nothing, Woodbury on top. Everything going their way. Jim Boyd talking to his troops, saying, we got another half of football to play, and he knew what he was in for. He knew I was up against a very fine veteran West Effort club, and this West Effort club did what they had to do. They came out here in the second half. They. They put the points on the board in their first drive and their first three consecutive drives just coming up a little bit short. Woodbury scoring all 26, 26 of his points in the first seven minutes of the game. Aaron Harvey with a 90-yard kickoff return uh, uh, to start the game. And on the next kickoff, uh, West Effort failing to cover the short kick. Woodbury recovers. The Sturdivant scores from the seven. Then... Uh, Diggs with a three-yard pass from Wilson and Sturdivant with a 45-yard run after a pass from Wilson. So it's 26-0 quickly. West Effort's defense really acquitted itself well in the second period. And uh, when it looked like Woodbury could get even more points before halftime, settled for a 26-0 halftime lead. Then West Effort dominating the second half. Whitmer with a one-yard run, English with two runs for touchdowns, 50 and three yards. But the final score is 26 to 21. So that'll do it from uh, Woodbury High School. A big win for the Thundering Herd as they uh, improve their chances to make the Group 1 playoffs for the first time since 1991. For Steve Crispin, this is Bob Shryock from Woodbury High School. Final score, Woodbury 26 and West Effort 21.